Hey there, Dennis Hall with Learning Templates. Uh, so today I'm introducing a, a new plugin, a Leaflet Map for Gravity Forms. Um, this is version 2.0.2 .2 is the uh, uh, first public release of the plugin. I've been using it for uh, uh, over a year now, um, and uh, I've had uh, uh, quite a few test people uh, using it as well. It's uh, ready for public release. The objective of the plugin is to create a map, and that map is fed via a gravity form. So in this case, this is the uh, gravity form I've chosen. Um, these gravity form fields are standard gravity form fields. Every one of them, uh, uh, with a couple of small ex with a couple of small exceptions. Um, but uh, basically, uh, I'm asking the person to enter their name and email their business name. So this is a little special. In the map, I've configured it so that it's using, it can use business name um, as the title of a pop-up. So when somebody were, if somebody were to, uh, to uh, create a map pin on the map, then their business name would be the title of the pop-up when somebody came and clicked on that pin. Um, as well, the description, Pre please briefly describe your business. That is also selected to show in the pop-up. These are just gravity form fields. That's all they are. They're, they're not special at all. Um, in like, i.e., they're not made by me. Um, then we have the related sector. The related sector, um, uh, in this case, I've, picked, I've added a bunch, and you'll see how I've done it. Again, standard gravity form um, radio button field type. Um, you could use radio buttons or drop down. Um, the objective here, though, is that this will, whatever um, sector they select, this is going to uh, be represented in the map as an icon. So let's just go ahead and let's uh, continue on. The business address, uh, in this case, it's just the Gravity Forms address field type block. The field set, as it's called. Then the then we have the location dropdown. Now, this one is provided by my plugin. It's a special uh, dropdown. And the only reason that it exists is so that uh, if your user cannot find themselves in the map, if they enter an address that can't be found in the map, then they can choose a closest to address from that dropdown. Finally, I'm using a, uh, a simple radio button selection asking people to approve. It's standard gravity forms uh, uh, field. And then I'm using the gravity form consent field in this case to say I read and understand uh, this uh, little uh, spiel. Let's go ahead and let's try this and use it. I'm going to create uh, Danny Boy, Danny Hall. Okay, good enough. Um, we'll call it my company. We'll make it a, uh, uh, let's make it a general company. Or no, we'll make it an education company. And you can see here, 123 Main Street, Anytown, California. Well, that obviously isn't found um, in the map, but the map did find a lot of really close stuff already. So you can see that, uh, that uh, it found stuff. So let's go ahead and let's enter uh, 1541. We'll enter my own uh, address here. OK. It'll take, uh, this is a, uh, the standard gravity form address uh, uh, field set, so it will work uh, as per normal. In this case, I'll do that and select Canada. All right, so now it's loading the locations and it found my address in the map, so perfect. So what I'll do, I'll just uh, give myself a company name here. Learning Templates Incorporated, and I'll, I'll do a nice field. So um, uh, you can also allow people in Gravity Forms to upload an image like their logo, but 
Um, I'm not so sure I'd go with that right now. Uh, it's up to you. Um, in my case for testing, I'm not going to bother because this is just a standard gravity forms field. So um, we create great stuff. Good enough. I'll just make it centered and make it big. Maybe give it a nice color too. Good enough. Okay. So I'm in this case, I'm just again filling out gravity form fields and done. So in this particular case, the, the map prior to the person's uh, pin actually being applied to the map, the map will show this pin to them. And that's just so that they can check as they're entering in the field, as they, uh, ha as they were entering in the field, they could come up and they could check on the map, uh, you know, does this look right? They could also try and find themselves on the map as well, um, and then use that address that's found. Uh, finally, there's a few things here related to uh, the uh, gravity form field um, for the, uh, the type of, uh, of uh, the category, let's say. This here will also pick up those same categories that are entered as into your gravity form. Um, in, in this case, the radio buttons, the sector radio buttons. So this will pick this, this map uh, um, menu will pick that up. So somebody can later come and filter the map. So in this case, you know, and once it's submitted, etc., then they can clear it and close it. Let's go ahead and just reload this page because in this case, the map is actually uh, showing up already. And there we go. Learning templates incorporated. We create great stuff. So that's that. Now let's go ahead and let's uh, add, let's find out how that was all done. So I will go into the forms themselves and I will edit that form. And again, going through these, this is a standard name, gravity form name field, gravity form email field. In this case, it's a single line text field. Related sector, that's the one that's picking up the different, the, the, the pin and creating the menu in the map itself. And it's a standard gravity form radio buttons field. Um, when you do edit the choices, you do want to make sure that the values are unique because that's what's being used. Um, that's it. That's it for that. So that's that's the different sectors in the map. It's uh, in the gravity form that show the different icons. Then I have the business address absolutely required for mapping purposes. The drop down is coming from my plugin and latitude and longitude, you did not see them in the front end. They're hidden. After that, we've got the uh, paragraph text where I entered, uh, we, we create great stuff or whatever, and the approval, which is just radio buttons again, and then our promise, which is a consent field type. That's it. In Gravity Forms, to add my custom three fields to any form, um, you you, you uh, go to the Add Fields panel and scroll down to the very bottom, and you've got the three right here. Drag and drop them anywhere you want in the form, and you're done. There is no configuration necessary for them, uh, unless you would like to change the title of that, for example. You can do that. Um, this is the only visible one, this drop down. The other two are hidden. The latitude and longitude are hidden field types. Um, if you do wish to show them, you can, but by default, they're hidden. Um, with all that out of the way, the, the form's been created. So let's go into Leaflet Map, into my Leaflet Lab Map plugin. So once you've installed and activated the uh, plugin, under the Gravity Forms main menu, you're going to have a new Leaflet Map, su map submenu. You'll enter your license key to activate it, and then you'll be able to go to Settings. And once you go to settings, you'll want to register for a free Mapbox account. Left-clicking this link will take you there. 
and then you'll create your account and log into your account. Once you've done that, what you'll end up doing is simply creating, uh, clicking create token. Mapbox will create the token. You'll then copy that and you'll come back to here and paste it into this field. With that out of the way, you can then create a new page or use an existing page in uh, WordPress and simply add in this um, short code, gravity forms, leaflet map, uh, map. Um, once, uh, once you've added that, uh, that short code, then uh, what will happen is uh, the map will show up in that page. And uh, you can apply this map into elementary areas, uh, any, any page builder. So you can make the map full width and stuff like that, resize it as you wish. Or uh, you can do what I've just done here within the, uh, where in the customizer, in the WordPress customizer, I've simply added in some additional CSS, which uh, will, which, where I've resized the map. So we'll just go into customizer here. And if you purchase this plugin, I'll, uh, I'll be able to uh, let you, uh, I'll be able to uh, provide you with the custom CSS, but that's it. Um, if I were to comment out this CSS, then what would happen is the map would go to the default WordPress size for that block. And I'll just uh, clear my cache, clear my browser cache, and there, that's the actual map size there in reality. So we'll just uh, come back and we'll apply that again. When you do resize the map, you may find this icon will move, and that's how come I've got, that's another thing I've got. Uh, and again, uh, I can provide the uh, CSS, no problem to change that. Back to additional CSS, whoops. And we'll uncomment that. And comment that and publish. So once again, that's done. And again, the uh, the uh, map the map is zoomable and panable, uh, meaning you can drag it around, left clicking and holding the left mouse button down on a Windows computer, and then left clicking or control clicking or just clicking uh, the the uh, icon itself will uh, show that pop up. Um, we've created the account map, map box. We've applied that into here. We've selected the page we want the short code to show up. Default latitude, default longitude, and zoom default zoom level are the uh, are will control um, where the map initially shows up. In this case, I've got. Uh, um, my, where the area where I'm located uh, as the center of the map, roughly the center. Um, and I've, I've just uh, summarized it to 45 north, um, 73 west equals minus 73, and the zoom, default zoom level. For zoom levels, uh, two is the closest in zoom level, or the, uh, the uh, excuse me, two is the uh, furthest out zoom level, 9.5 is the closest in zoom level to the center of the map. I've got mine set uh, to, uh, to 5.5 by default, and that pretty much shows most of Eastern Canada in this case. Um, after that, in the map form, uh, we, need, we need to tell the map which gravity form are we going to be using with this map. And then what is the address block, uh, the gravity form address block? In the form itself, I called it business address. That's the name, the title I gave the block, um, the, uh, the form set in this case, which is uh, the gravity form one. 
Um, then we're going to identify what uh, within the uh, map itself, which field are we going to use to show the, uh, the name. Um, and you can do anything you want here. I, I called it business name. Um, and it's, uh, it can be whatever you wish. Then the description field, that was the, TIFA, the standard gravity form paragraph text block. Um, and then related sector. So that was the one with the radio buttons where we uh, told it what sector we're in. And I, I had selected education. And with that one, when when you uh, moder when you create these radio buttons or drop downs in your gravity form, my plugin will automatically apply uh, these different radio field uh, radio but uh, uh, in this case radio button fields. And what and all you need to do is you then need to just go in and select an icon from your media library that you want to use on the map. So. In that case, uh, this is what it does. So let's just go ahead and let's mod let's do a quick little thing. We'll modify the form and we'll add in a, a new uh, sector, and then we will, uh, or maybe take away a sector or whatever. So let's go. Let's find our sectors related sector. So I'm going to. Okay, we've got food. Um, let's do. A new field. We'll call it the uh, WP Devs WordPress Development, and we'll call it WP Dev. Good enough. And we'll save the form. So if we look at the form, we'll have a new WordPress Development over here, WP Development. And if we go to the leaflet map settings we now have a new one that says you have not selected an image for the map pin let's go ahead and let's select an image um i don't know we'll do uh mm, eh, maybe let's just do well that's not a good one let's go ahead and let's uh see if we can upload an image Um, let's pick one from the plugin folder itself. Um, let's do, we'll just do that one. Good enough. And we'll select it. And now it's set. Save it. And now, now it's ready to be shown in the map. So, that's uh, that's all I wanted to let you know. Thank you.